When a 24-year-old woman visited a hospital in China's Shandong province complaining of dizziness and nausea, puzzled doctors performed a CAT scan and an MRI. They found something unbelievable. She was completely missing her cerebellum. A new study in the journal Brain describes her as just the ninth patient documented as living with her condition. Located at the base of the brain just above the stem, the cerebellum accounts for about 10% of the brain's volume but 50% of its neurons, playing a role in motor control and movement. The woman joins perennial subjects of fascination in neuroscience who live despite incredible brain conditions. In recent years, doctors have described a Virginia woman missing the left side of her brain, along with a 44-year-old Frenchman found to have a brain shrunken to less than half its normal size. Major brain defects aren't very uncommon. One in every 4,859 U.S. babies are born with anencephaly, in which parts of the brain or skull are missing. But adults living with such drastic abnormalities are very rare. The relatively mild symptoms in these cases are a remarkable demonstration of the brain's plasticity, or its ability to reorganize after major changes. Also known as neuroplasticity, the field is expansive and includes adaptations in brain function to compensate for changes to behavior, environment, physical trauma, and more. A famous example is human echolocation, in which some blind people develop the ability to use echoes for navigation. Our brains forge new neural connections and work around limitations. In the case of the Chinese patient, researchers believe her brain circuitry gradually rewired to compensate for the missing region. She had developmental issues when she was young, struggling to speak coherently before age six or walk before age seven. But she eventually went on to develop more normally. Future research on her case will confirm, but doctors suspect the woman's cerebral cortex ultimately picked up the cognitive slack.